This is WPTV. Hey everyone. So I work at Starbucks, and I'm always in the mood for always in the mood for a great cup of coffee. So like it's great. I always open, and you think I could just walk in and drink all the coffee I want, but I opened. There's no coffee. I have to make it all. <laughs> so now I show up with a cup of Duncan every day. America really does run on Duncan. <laughs> and I'm always taking orders through the st drive-through, and nobody makes sense throughout those speakers. I'm like. I'm sorry, ma'am, do you want a cappuccino, frappuccino, or al pacino? And I gotta tell you, I'm all out of him today. <laughs> and I don't understand why everyone is so mad at Starbucks in the morning. Like, we took Burger King's motto of have it your way and ran with it. Anything you want in that cup, you got it. Some sugar, I got you. A little bit of honey, I got you. Some cocaine, don't tell nobody, but I got you. <laughs> And like, I have this one customer, he comes in every day and gets a venti non-fat, sorry, decaf two-third white mocha latte with cinnamon and nutmeg on top. The first time I heard that, I thought to myself, wow, such a carefree guy, right? <laughs> but the thing is, the guy refuses to talk to me every morning. Like I get it, it's 6 a.m., but still. So now I do this I Love Lucy bit, he comes up to the window, I'm like, hi, sir, 594. You don't say. You, you don't say? Okay. You, you change is six cents, you don't say. N no? Really? Nothing? Here's your coffee. You, you don't say? <laughs> Have a good day. You don't say. <laughs> and then one day my boss turned to me and said, what did he say? I don't know. He didn't say. Uh, so one day, I'm studying in the lounge, minding my own business, hungry, and about to go to the vending machine, and I see this dude walk to the vending machine, and he unlocks it, and I think to myself, wow, he's going to refill it. This is the magic moment when, like, food just appears, but he doesn't. <laughs> he just, like, moves shit around, <laughs> and then, like, dumps out all the change and, like, walks away. So I'm like, okay. So I go to proceed to get a snack, and all I wanted was a honey bun. <laughs> you know, a honey bun is delicious. And I proceed to get said honey bun, but there is a slice of marble loaf in front of it, and I'm just like, why? Why is it not in the line with the other marble loafs? All I want is a honey bun. <laughs> so now I got two options, because some dude just wants to move shit around. I can either pay for both the marble loaf and the honey bun, or I can wait. <laughs> it's been three days. I'm still waiting on that honey bun. <laughs> Gracias, Trump. So, um, guys, uh, I'm from the barrio, and if you don't know what the barrio is, it's the ghetto. And if you still don't know what that is, it's a disenfranchised area full of minorities screaming out for help or hiding from Trump. No me gusta el hombre de honinge. <laughs> and like, I'm the black guy in the barrio. A and for that, when I say that, I mean I'm literally like the only black guy. Like when my mom gave birth to me, she said, que, el negro? <laughs> <laughs> now, now, of course, the problem with being the only black guy in the barrio is that nobody believes you. I was walking home from school one day, and this dude stopped and asked me, he's like, hey, man, you Dominican? I was like, no. He stopped, looked me up and down, and said, <laughs> you Dominican, and walked away. <laughs> okay. But, of course, once they do realize you're black, that's when all the stereotypes come out. Uh, before we continue on, I just have to stress, it is John, not Juan. <laughs> and so I'm walking home from school, and all of a sudden I hear, hey, yo, Juan, it's John. <laughs> yo, he's on my team for basketball. Guys, I don't play basketball. I got to listen to the Hamilton mixtape. Because <laughs> that's fire. <laughs> and he's like, nah, man, you had him on your team last time. He's like, guys, the Wiz is having a, a, a V1 today. I'm trying to watch that as well. <laughs> like, nah, man, it's not fair. Guys, 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 besides. 
The Jets are on at eight. They look at me confused as all can be. I'm like, man, the Jets aren't playing tonight. It's like, no, the Jets and the Sharks. Because when you're a Jet, you're the Jet all the way. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone.